I'm uh, Robert Cuffley, and I'm a director, composer, occasional screenwriter. Writer. Ironically, it started with NUTV because there were some kids that, um, kids, young adults, that were complaining they couldn't shoot their film because the camera was always out. And I was like, what the Sam Hill? But I probably said something different. And um, because when I started, without trying to sound old, there were no iPhones. So I was like, what are you guys waiting for? So we went and shot this film called Romy on an iPhone 6. I shot it in Burnaby with a crew of two. And um, it did really well. It won an award here at Cuff. It won an award in Blood in the Snow. Best short in Toronto. And um, part of that was because AI was getting hot. And uh, we were going to make uh, a monster movie. And um, we thought, no, AI, AI is really hot. So maybe we should make a feature version of Romy, which is what we did, not on an iPhone. But um, it was inspired by that. And it's just been released at Fantasia and more recently, SIF here. What did making Romy teach you about filmmaking and about yourself? Just that I love small movies. I started love wanting to do bigger and bigger and bigger. And I took pride the bigger my crew is. And now I'm completely the opposite. I'm all about lean and mean, economic minimalism. It, it taught me that uh, the DIY aspect is uh, so prominent now that even someone like, someone like myself, uh, I think I did six of the visual effects. I did some zit removal, uh, very basic stuff, but it's something that anyone can do. So that hands-on part uh, was really fun, um, although I'm going to leave it to the pros next time. Um, and that building a core team of people in the following positions is really key. Uh, DP, editor, uh, composer, that's me, and um, producers. If, if you have rock solid of that group, then you've kind of got it made already. Especially if your DP and yourself have the same um, visual references, which we did, which is a movie called Ex Machina. I tend not to like people that take the attitude of, oh, I've done it a million times. I, I, I want to be an open book, able to learn as much on my 12th film as on my first. I, I do all my writing to scores. Um, so this last one, I love this score on a movie called Session 9 um, by a Seattle band called Climax Golden Twins. So I would play that a lot. It's very kind of atmospheric music that you would hear on your way to hell, I think. Um, and lots of Jerry Goldsmith, like the original Alien. So the music inspires a lot. So does Weed. You can cut that out if you want. But um, also realizing that you learn from your other key people. You've got these ideas that you're positive or correct, and you can go and share them with the DP, and uh, that's the director of photography. And, and he or she might just illuminate you to some new things that you don't know, and I like that. And if the idea is really good, I'll tell everyone that it was mine. So my screenwriter is uh, Susie Maloney. She's a acclaimed horror novelist who just moved to Winnipeg. And she's teaching now, which means I'm writing the next one. But aside from that, Susie Maloney, Colin Sheldon is one of my producers, Linda Nainer, Niner, and um, my editor, most importantly, the second most important job to directing is Bridget Durnford, who's won a couple Emmys. And uh, no one ever sees her in public, but she's amazing. I can't, I could go into this long thing about all the, the lengthy process I took shooting Super 8 how you'd shoot and send it off for developing and you wouldn't even see what you shot for a month. And now we've got this instant gratification as, as you know, bouncing off satellites and are in the form of a phone. And I'm astonished that more people aren't just experimenting with angles, composition, editing your own stuff, um, and focal lengths, all that. You can learn so much. So I'm really on the fence now as to whether I would even recommend film school to everyone. I don't know that I would because there's stuff like this. There's Jaws, which is film school. So is Raiders of the Lost Ark. Um, and there's, you know, YouTube, if you can find the, the right teachers. There's director's commentaries. And I highly encourage people to watch movies with no sound to learn visual language. Pretty good? Okay, cool. Okay.